today on Fixing the Money Thing. We got out of debt in two and a half years. Now, I wish I could say that we lived to that hand to mouth scenario for, you know, maybe a month. Nine years we lived like that. Nine years of hell on earth. And if you're financially in debt and a mess, it is hell on earth. But you know, the kingdom works for anyone. Let me make this statement. You will never discover your destiny until you fix the money thing. It's impossible. From Living Word Christian Center in Chicago, Gary Cassie shares the kingdom principles you need to fix your money thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. We're Gary and Drinda Cassie, and we're talking again about your money. Yes, just recently yep. we were with Bill Winston at his conference, Living Word Christian Center in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Wow, Gary, you tore the house up. <laughs> I it, just was, have it was to a great say. conference. It it's was a great fantastic. Church over there. And uh, Gary did a phenomenal job. This message is, is it's great. It's from Money Mysteries of the Master. That's one of the teachings that he does in there, and you're gonna, you're gonna love it. Take a look at this. And now, from Living Word Christian Center, Gary Cassie on Fixing the Money Thing. I want to dig into this uh, message. You know, I've been teaching the kingdom for, for a number of years now. It changed my life. And when it changes your life, you are so grateful when you discover the kingdom. And uh, we hear about the kingdom a lot, but until you actually apply it and actually enjoy it, uh, it's just religion. And, uh, you know, the world's not stupid. They're not looking for religion. They're looking for demonstration. And, uh, you know, they're going to see it. Amen. But uh, I want to get in here because I know it's going to get a little late, but I get emails like this all the time. And uh, I want to read this one to you. He says, I've been a Christian for uh, 25 years and I've never, never prospered. After being faithful, a faithful tither for that time and never seeing anything change, I, I'm a single mom and have been living hand to mouth for so many years. My car is on its last leg. I have a 501c3 organization established to help single mothers and their children that I have been doing nothing with. It's painful to live with a dream screaming out in your head day and night and have no way to go forward with it. Now, We've been helping people get out of debt for 30 years. And uh, one of the things that I find in in ministry, churches, or just people I've ministered to over the years, is that I couldn't find a difference in Christians in their financial data when I was helping people, and I've helped tens of thousands across their own kitchen table, uh, than believers. I mean, believers and unbelievers. I mean, they had the same stuff. Same debt, same junk, same problems. And that shouldn't be that way. And uh, so I believe that, uh, you know, this is a ministers and missions conference. So I believe that uh, it's going to take some money to get your mission done. You know, vision always requires provision. But I see, I just, just how I've seen it. I'm not, I'm not just this one person, but I see a lot of financial frustration out there. Our situation was we were believers and uh, starving to death. (laughs) Led worship in our church, you know, gave tithes most of the time and uh, found ourselves going backwards. We uh, had 10 maxed out credit cards, three finance company loans, owed IRS back taxes, judgments and liens, owed my relatives $26,000, mortgages, car payments, my kids slept on mattresses that we got off the side of the road out of a, a nursing home. They were throwing them out. The carpet in their bedroom was also found on the side of the road. It got so bad, my kids would, we'd drive down the road and they go, well, dad, that looks like that's still good. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, we lived in an old 1800s farmhouse. The problem was it hadn't been fixed up since 1800s. <laughs> Every window pane broken, plants growing through the window sills. We just trimmed it just like it part, you know, it was a plant, you know, just part of the decor, you know, just cut the plants growing in through the window sills. And uh, we eventually ran out of uh, credit. We, I was on antidepressants, having panic attacks, numbness, paralysis. It wasn't good. But I was a believer. But what was I believing? That's, that's a phrase you got to catch. Well, I'm a believer. Well, yeah, what are you believing? You know, I wasn't believing the right stuff. Something was wrong. And one day an attorney called me and he wasn't like the normal attorneys that give you some time to try to talk, you know, your way through some more time. He just said, look, you have the money to me in three days or I'm following suit, hung the phone up. $1,900 at the time, we didn't have, we didn't have it. And uh, so I, I commenced to go upstairs in the bedroom there and I laid across the bed and I cried out to God and just began to weep and called out to God and God spoke to me right away. Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches, his riches, his riches, his riches, his riches, not your daddy's last name, his riches in Christ Jesus. I said, I know that scripture. <laughs> I said, but God, I said, that's not true in my life. I don't have that. I said, I'm, I'm just surviving in this. I don't have that. I don't see that. He spoke to me again. He said, that's because you have never learned how my kingdom operates. You've been trusting the earth system just like anyone else out there. You've never taken the time to learn how my kingdom operates. I said, kingdom, what do you mean by kingdom? I don't know. He, he says, you've got to learn how my kingdom operates. Well, I heard the Lord's voice. I ran downstairs, grabbed my wife's hand. I said, I heard from God. I said, first off, I'm sorry. As the husband of this family, I owe you an apology and I repent to you for allowing us to get into this mess. And I'm sorry. And we agreed right then, we held hands and we prayed right then, God teach us something, we gotta learn about the kingdom. Yeah. Teach us about this kingdom. And uh, he did. At that time I was uh, selling insurance and uh, we had, you know, all the vehicles are, you know, 200 some thousand miles, you just prayed they start, you know, you ever been there? <laughs> and uh, so I went to this guy's house on an appointment and I always parked around the corner. I mean, I'm smart enough to know if you're selling financial products, if your car fills the, smoke with, uh, fills the driveway with smoke, that's not good advertisement for your integrity, you know. So I'd park around the corner and so they wouldn't see me start the car up because it, it would throw smoke out every time you start it. And so this, this guy, he come and he followed me out the door. He followed me around the street, around the corner to my car, which I kept waiting for him to go on. So I stood there and talked a little bit thinking he'd just kind of go on. And he just kind of stood back and just stood there and watched. All right, I had to start the car up. So I started it and he said, shut it off, shut it off. It's smoke filling the air. He said, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm a mechanic part-time. Let me check that thing out. So he goes up and checks the hood out. He said, you've got a busted head gasket. Just drive it home and park it. Well, that's great for him to say. I mean, I have no groceries at home. Uh, the attorney just called. I have $1,900 due now in two days. I don't have any money to pay the van off. I can't sell it broken. My office was about probably five or six miles from that appointment. And I began to drive to my office just talking to the Lord. We just, we just had that, you know, we just made that commitment. You know, it was the Lord, I don't know what to do about this. I said, you know, maybe it better if it just burned up. I don't know how to get, you know, I don't, I can't sell it. So I was driving down the road there and this little bubble began to appear on the hood. And I thought, I don't remember that paint bubble being there before. And as I watched, that bubble got bigger. And then eventually, as I got to my office, that thing burst into flame about six foot high off that van. And I sat there and I said, you heard me. I said, you heard me. It's like, that thing burned up. I called the fire department. They come down, you know, the captain comes over. I'm sorry about your van, Mr. Cassie. I, mean, I had to act, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. But on the inside, I was jumping up and down, man. I said, that thing burned, man, it, it burned up. I didn't torch it either. It burned up by itself when I said that. <laughs> well, the insurance company paid the van off. I overnight had a check to that attorney, paid the van off attorney. God gave Drenda a business, a little, little business idea. Where in a couple weeks she had enough money and she paid cash for a used car. I said, oh, this is how the kingdom operates. Paid that debt off, paid this, got a car paid for. I said, well, I'm starting to learn, God. 
Our life began to change. Began to, God began to download kingdom knowledge to me, and we began to apply it. We got out of debt in two and a half years. Now, I, I wish I could say that we lived in that hand-to-mouth scenario for, you know, maybe a month. Nine years we lived like that. Nine years of hell on earth. And you're financially in debt and a mess. It is hell on earth. It is a mess. More from America's financial coach in a moment. Today, from Fixing the Money Thing, information you need to move forward and strengthen your kingdom authority. We start with Gary Cassie's book, Money Mysteries from the Master, Time-Honored Financial Truths from Jesus Himself. This book goes through multiple chapters of the mysteries that I've learned through these past 30 years. In Money Mysteries from the Master, Gary uses everyday examples, amazing stories, and Jesus' own parables to shed light on the powerful truths of the Bible as Jesus taught us how to pay our bills, provide for our families, make ends meet, create wealth to help expand the kingdom of God, these mysteries are mysteries for a reason. The Bible says these things are to be revealed to us, the believer, and become a weapon in our hands. Gary Cassie has helped hundreds of thousands of people just like you become completely debt-free using the money mysteries Jesus gave us. Money mysteries from the Master. I guarantee it'll change your thinking and your life. Call, write, or log on now to order. The next part of our offer today is Gary's most powerful faith teaching to date. Fixing Your Faith is designed to help you get the answers you need. The Bible works just like it says it will. Why isn't it working for me? What is disappointed faith? Do you have it? Do you know the tricks used to get you off course? Do you know how to fight back? Seven CDs on faith that will change your future. The next part of today's package is Gary's teaching on heaven here and now. On this CD, Gary shows you what the kingdom of God has to offer and how you can get heavenly principles working in the earth and in your life. Call 888-391-LIFE. Call, write, or log on now to order. For only $75 or more gift of support, receive Gary's Money Mysteries from the Master Book and Fixing Your Faith 7 CD series along with the bonus CD, Heaven, Here and Now. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach and he's created these materials to help you fix your money thing. We now return to Living Word Christian Center and more of Gary Cassie's message on fixing the money thing. Luke chapter 6 verse 20 was what I found out. That's my answer. That's your answer. Blessed are you who are poor for yours is the kingdom of God. That's your answer. The kingdom of God. Luke chapter 17 20. Where's the kingdom at? It's in us. For the kingdom of God does not come by observation, for it is in you. But most believers look at the kingdom like the Calvary coming on the horizon. They're looking for their answer like God's going to show up on the horizon coming to the rescue, not realizing they have the answer already. They have the entire kingdom. They already have it. There's nothing else God can add to what he did. He already gave you the whole thing. <clears throat> but you have to learn how the kingdom operates. And here's the interesting thing God taught me. Kingdoms operate by law. Kingdoms operate by law. You know, no matter what I desire, if I told you that I'm sick and tired of everything falling to the ground when you drop it, and I want, to, I want it to go up instead of down. Now, you know that if I just continue to drop this Bible, it's going to do what every single time? It's going to go down because there's a law called gravity that doesn't change. And no matter what I desire to see happen, that's not gonna affect the law, is it? Or my ignorance of the law, if I told you I was gonna jump off a 10-story building down here in Chicago and said, you know what, I'm gonna fly, I'm just gonna choose to fly, I'm tired of walking, I'm gonna jump off this building, you know the law and you know my outcome, right? <laughs> All right, now my ignorance of the law is no, it doesn't, it has no bearing on the law. The law is going to operate how many times? Every single time. When we came in this place tonight and these lights were on, I'm sure you were happy about that. But did you guys have the prayer chain and the, everyone praying about the lights being on here tonight? Oh, you got to fast. We got to fast for 50 days. Make sure them lights are on. Got a big meeting coming up. Uh, you call the prayer team. Let's get them all going together. You know, how many, how many did that? Prayed for the lights to be on tonight. I don't see a hand anywhere. You know what? You expected the lights to be on. 
You actually had the nerve to expect the lights and count on the lights being on. You know why? Because your mind has been renewed to the law of electricity. You understand how it operates and it works every time for anyone who will operate the laws the same way. Is that right? And so if we took a light bulb 2,000 years ago and said, look, I'm going to light up this building with a glass bulb, what would they have said then? They said that would be a miracle, right? Well, that's a miracle. You can't like, you see, there's no such thing as a miracle in God's kingdom. The supernatural is natural. God doesn't go, oh my goodness, look at that. He was healed. <laughs> you see, God isn't surprised. It's a law. It works how many times? Every single time without exception. Airplanes fly because they tap into a law of lift, which supersedes, not cancel, the law of gravity. Walking in the spirit, we walk by different law and supersede the laws of the earth realm. I became a spiritual scientist. I figured out I can learn that. A kingdom operates by law. It's not religion. It's just spiritual law. I can learn that. I may not be the smartest guy around, but I can learn that. I wanted to know why was that guy healed? Why wasn't that person healed? Why did that person receive? <clears throat> There's reasons. There's reasons. And you can learn them because the Holy Spirit is your teacher. And he wants you to know that. These stories in the Bible are not written so you go, oh my Jesus, look at that. If my Jesus was here in my bedroom, he could help me. They are there to teach you how the kingdom operates so you can operate it. Most Christians have this idea that Jesus is going to show up in their bedroom and say, oh, I'm sorry, it's so tough. I knew it was tough. Group hug, man, group hug. No, he's going to rebuke you. He's going to say, did you not look in my word? Did you not see in my word how this works? He's going to say, it's right there. I told you how it works. Step into it. Matthew chapter 17 is how most Christians operate. Now, not in this crowd, but what I've seen around the world how people operate. Matthew chapter 17. The healing of a boy with a demon. When they came to the crowd, you know the setup, Jesus is on top of the mountain, three disciples are coming down, they hear a commotion going on down there. They come down, find this group down there arguing. And so they approach Jesus, this father does, of this son who's demon possessed. And he says, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. What did Jesus say? Oh, unbelieving and what? Perverse. What did he say? Perverse. Say it again. Perverse. Generation. He's saying, that's perverse. That demon is supposed to come out. That's perverse. Now, the disciples had been given authority to cast out demons a few chapters before this, but here's what the devil did. You know, it says that the boy fell down and began to foam and all that. The devil likes to intimidate you. When they saw that guy throw up that kind of fit, they kind of, whoa. And their unbelief, which is being double-minded, canceled the law of faith or agreement with heaven and they lost their authority in that situation. Now Jesus there, the father says, when authority is not in place, when no one has a clue who has or how authority operates, there's one thing left, have mercy on me. And most of people's prayers sound like that. And to make God understand our situation, he goes on and explains, my son, he falls into the fire. You know. God, don't you know the bills are due Friday? Don't you know this? We try to convince God that the situation is worthy of his time when we don't have a clue about how to exercise authority. Have mercy on me, and then we try to explain to God how this thing operates. Right? That's how people pray. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, just turn back a few pages, <clears throat> he said these words in verse number 7 of chapter six. And when you pray, don't keep on babbling like unbelievers for they think they'll be heard because there are many words. Do not be like them for your father knows what you need, excuse me, you need before you ask. This then is how you should pray. Our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, this is not to be a wall plaque. 
This is an instruction on how to bring heaven into the earth. We are to pray heaven into the earth. He says, pray like this. Don't just sit there and babble. He says, pray like this. Pray what, whatever's righteous in heaven, whatever is the will of God in heaven, you are the government agent of heaven. You are, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the ambassador of the government of God. And if you don't bind and if you don't loose, no one else can. And so you are to bind the enemy and you are to loose heaven into the earth realm. But unfortunately, most Christians don't have a concept of this scripture in 1 John 5, 14. This is our confidence. If we ask anything according to the will of God, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we've asked of him. When it says he hears us, it's not meaning he hears us like with our ears, hears us. It means like a judge taking the case. If we ask anything according to his will, we know that he takes the case. He hears it and we know if he hears it and it's his will, justice will be done and we can be confident that it'll come to pass. Contact Gary. Archived Fixing the Money Thing shows, learning resources and more at GaryCasey.com. Today, from Fixing the Money Thing, information you need to move forward and strengthen your kingdom authority. We start with Gary Cassie's book, Money Mysteries from the Master, Time-Honored Financial Truths from Jesus Himself. This book goes through multiple chapters of the mysteries that I've learned through these past 30 years. In Money Mysteries from the Master, Gary uses everyday examples, amazing stories, and Jesus' own parables to shed light on the powerful truths of the Bible as Jesus taught us how to pay our bills, provide for our families, make ends meet, create wealth to help expand the kingdom of God. These mysteries are mysteries for a reason. The Bible says these things are to be revealed to us, the believer, and become a weapon in our hands. Gary Cassie has helped hundreds of thousands of people just like you become completely debt-free using the money mysteries Jesus gave us. Money mysteries from the master. I guarantee it'll change your thinking and your life. Call, write, or log on now to order. The next part of our offer today is Gary's most powerful faith teaching to date. Fixing Your Faith is designed to help you get the answers you need. The Bible works just like it says it will. Why isn't it working for me? What is disappointed faith? Do you have it? Do you know the tricks used to get you off course? Do you know how to fight back? Seven CDs on faith that will change your future. The next part of today's package is Gary's teaching on heaven here and now. On this CD, Gary shows you what the kingdom of God has to offer and how you can get heavenly principles working in the earth and in your life. Call 888-391-LIFE. Call, write, or log on now to order. For only $75 or more gift of support, receive Gary's Money Mysteries from the Master Book and Fixing Your Faith 7 CD series, along with the bonus CD, Heaven, Here and Now. Gary Cassie is America's financial coach, and he's created these materials to help you fix your money thing. From the Faith Life Now studio, Gary and Drenda Cassie. Well, as you can see, the answer, your answer is the kingdom. And I want to remind you to get the material. Knowledge is the key to your freedom. And of course, Money Mysteries from the Master, this is my book that discusses the hidden truths of the kingdom that God wants you to know. And uh, over 30 years of our experience with finances and coming out of debt personally recorded in this book, what God taught us. Also, one of the most important messages I've ever taught in my life, heaven, here and now. I have to listen to this principle myself over and over again to keep my mind renewed to how the kingdom flows into the earth realm. And then so many questions people ask us about faith. Fixing your faith is my CD set that actually helps you understand if you're in faith, out of faith, why you need faith. It's definitely going to help you understand how to advance your life in the kingdom. And Dorinda, it's just it's so much fun being there and seeing the people respond to the good yes. news of the kingdom. Yes. I know you get emails. Why don't you uh, read yes. a couple there? I have a couple here. One is from New Zealand. Uh, and she says, Dear Gary and Dorinda, I thank God wholeheartedly the day I came across your book, Mysteries from the Master. I yes. have major debts in my life and a little way of being able to repay mortgages. Mm -hmm. I'm able to keep my head just 
above water, but there's little to spare. I would love some prayer around being able to grab hold of the things you're teaching. I cannot get enough. And Nina, we're going to be praying for you. We absolutely yes. will do that. We do that very yes. much. We uh, also have Glenn and Linda, and they're saying, my wife Linda and I began sewing into your ministry. We love your book, Money Mysteries of the Master. Thank you and God bless you and your ministry. Yes. And Thank you, Glenn and Linda. You'll love it too. So go to our website, GaryCassie.com. Call the number at the bottom of the screen. We'll look forward to seeing you again on Fixing the Money Thing. And we are cheering and rooting for you. It's all kingdom law. It's available to you. Just learn how it operates. Step into it. We'll see you next time. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to pray with you. No matter what you're facing, there is hope. Call and let's agree together. Caring prayer partners are available faithfully any time of the day or night. You can also leave your prayer request at GaryCassie.com. Just click and know someone will be agreeing with you in prayer for your need to be met. Want to know more? Read and comment on Gary's blog. Partner with Faith Life Now. Find out where Gary and Drenda are speaking. Send us your prayer requests. Order more life-changing resources. Find out what's happening at the Now Center. Invite Gary to speak at your church or event. Watch archived Fixing the Money Thing episodes. All these things and more are waiting for you at GaryCassie.com. Now, you can watch Gary Cassie's services live from Faith Life Church. Just go to faithlifechurch.org and click on the live streaming button. Service times are Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern and Sunday mornings at 9.30 and 11.30 Eastern. And if you're at home or live streaming, grab your Bibles and follow along with me as well. Enjoy the life-changing teachings of Gary Cassie every weekend, live from Faith Life Church. Gary Cassie is excited to share the message of kingdom principles with all who will hear. If you have one experience with the kingdom, it will change your life forever. To invite Gary to speak at your next event, contact him at GaryCassie.com. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become a part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more. More impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton off 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center with services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. John Bevere is coming to Faith Life Church. Join us Saturday, June 28th and Sunday, June 29th and experience the boldness and life-changing passion of author and international speaker, John Bevere. Experience a radical shift in your thinking. Get ready for your extraordinary life. Go to faithlifechurch.org for more details. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the partners and friends of Faith Life Now.